And the last step in organizing our session is to create groups. Here I'm going to highlight all my drums. Go to the group menu down on our left. And select new group. The group dialog box will come up. And it will show us our attributes and our tracks. So there's all the drum tracks. And the attributes would be what we want the group to do. Pan. In this case we don't. We would like to be able to bypass and solo and do automation. We don't need to have it record enabled since we're not recording or input monitor. And we want to control mutes and volume. We'll type in the name drums and I'm going to select the letter D for this particular group. Now as you can see I can mute them or solo them all together as a group. I can enable or disable the group by clicking on it or in our case hitting the D key on the keyboard since that area is lit. So my next group would be our percussion and loops. So I'm going to highlight them. Use command G in this case to start a new group. Select P for percussion and type in the name percussion and loops. Now in this case I made an electric guitar strum group and I wanted four tracks but I only selected two. So I can select the two additional tracks I want and select modify groups, go to that group and hit replace. Now it will automatically add those two tracks I want. Another way to do it is to highlight them on the left and hit add or remove if you added too many to your group. 